What's up guys? So the this video is gonna be long. Um so please be prepared for that. I do wanna say a lot of it's from my TikTok. So it's not, and it's also probably not gonna be in order. So just get that understand that now. Uh eighty every bit of video footage I had on like my little action camera gone nothing was on my SD card it all just got corrupted which sucks but it's already over 10 minutes long so it's probably gonna be about 20 25 minutes on this video so I do apologize for that uh, I'm at a manager's house right now, a former manager, who I consider a work mom. She always looks out for me. Her and her roommate are amazing. But, just enjoy this video. Just note that it's not going to be in order. I tried. It's hard to figure out what order it goes in whenever you... But uh, whenever you're going through your memories and it's not technically in or order because you didn't make the, you put the videos up on TikTok in order, which, whatever. But enjoy. This is a lot more pain in the butt to do on a cell phone than I would like to admit. Hi, guys. You ready? So we made it to Bur we're in Bourbon County. We're we're charging up our bike. We're heading north west or northeast. And then we're gonna head north up to the Reptarium. But that trailer is packed all the way to the top. It is heavy and we only have maybe two and a half hours worth of daylight left. Uh, let's see. One, two, yeah, about three hours, roughly. Daylight. So we're gonna sit here for until uh, 7 30 and head out then. That little solar generator is gonna do me some good work. Charging up the helmet, too. Vlogs coming to YouTube two times a week. Uh, bike packing, doing door dashes in big cities. So keep tuned. We will be posting video daily on TikTok and Instagram and my Facebook. Live streaming Twitch every other day to every day. So go to tune in. So we're at our first stealth camp that we slept last night. Had a good meal. Had a mat, ground tarp, and trees for cover. Which, gotta repack the trailer. Not looking forward to that at all. No. But then, try to make it to Mount Sterling tonight. Day, find as a spot is set up. Go wash our dishes somewhere public that we can use. Get water from. Because we are out of water at this point. Yeah, there's a stream. But that water looks dirty and mucky. And I'm not dealing with it. Yes, I can purify water. With, you know what this bag typically has connected to it, but that's my secondary storage bag. Um, yeah, 
I'm just procrastinating at this point because I just don't want to have to load up this trailer. And we we have like 32 miles to our till we get to our destination. Mount Sterling, the next town over. Yeah, shouldn't be that far. And that's how close we are to the road, probably. 100, 150 feet off the road. And so, uh, make another video whenever we stop again. Bye, guys. So, we're just sitting here. Dead battery. Charging up our solar generator just a little bit for solar panels. And as you can see, our generator is right there with the blue light flashing. Yeah. We weren't even able to get a full charge on the battery last night. Maybe a little over a quarter of a charge because we only went two miles. And um, the trailer is definitely not having a good time. Neither is the motor. We are definitely going to have to um, minimize our gear to just the basic essentials. So, that way it's easier for me to unpack and pack up. We'll do that in Mount Sterling. We gotta go down here for another mile or so, and then make another turn or to a different road. But I think that at this point, we're just gonna be looking for a place to um, set up another campsite, I guess. Because this trailer is too damn heavy for me to be pedaling on these things. This motor had issues with the little bit of water treat she had. Not looking forward to it. All right, I'll catch you all up later. Bye. Well, what's up, guys? So, uh, yesterday was interesting. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Um, had a spot, kind of just chilling out, hanging out, taking a break because battery is dead on this thing. So, uh, I'm. I'm with a couple, with maybe 120, 130 pounds behind me. <sighs> Trying to figure out what I don't need that I can happily get rid of. Uh, once I get to Mount Sterling. Um, but I went to jail last night, yesterday, last night. Didn't get out until like 1.20 that morning. Uh, signature gone, so I signed myself out. Why they couldn't have done that for me the last two times I was in jail, I don't know. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get out of the road here because we have a car oncoming. And, uh, I don't want to get hit. So, we're, we're, we're moving slowly, tenth of a mile at a time. Because it is bloody tiresome. I'll wave at everybody who goes by because I got three, I had three people call me yesterday. Pricks. But I get it. You get it. You're out in the country. Typically, everybody knows their neighbors. They know everybody goes down through this road. So when you have a buffoon like me on a bike pulling a trailer makes people really curious and uh, worried so they call the cops um, I didn't have a warrant which I expect it cops were nice very professional they double checked to make sure that warrant was still active didn't put me in handcuffs until we got to the car and even then in the car I was joking around with one of the officers but uh, I was able to get a ride back to where my bike was Thanks to another officer who wasn't even involved in the arrest. Which was fun because the only 
lead bark I do was the quarry. After that, I could find out where my bike was easier. But it, you know, I'll keep you updated next stop when I feel like filming. What's up, guys? So, we got about 8.7 miles before Mount Sterling. Um, before we can get to like a public library where tomorrow we'll have to plug a lot of our, our shite up. Um, try and get hold of family member. It might be a Mount Sterling. See if I can't come over to their place, crash in their yard or whatever. Uh, but I did go to jail last night. Uh, signature bonded out. And we are going slow because battery is dead. Very much dead. And I about dropped my phone. That's what that was. Uh, which means I don't have my snake bites anymore. I'm mad about that. Um, my septum, within a few hours that I was there, because my snake bites were new, but my septum is a 4 gauge, in case anybody wants to know it's a 4, started to already heal up. It had already went back down to a 6, which is not what we needed. Ow. So, <clears throat> just like my body has always done, it doesn't it not matter how long I've had a piercing, it will always close up. Of course, my nose won't close all the way up. Probably go down, back down to what it was originally. I think a, a 16 or a 14 gauge. I'm not sure what type of gauge it was. I know I could put my uh, industrial in my nose. And that's a 14 gauge. Keep going. We're just taking a fucking break. Right, leave me alone. Alright, so... I'll see y'all once we get to the next campsite, wherever that shall be. We have roughly five hours before it starts getting dark. That's beautiful out here. There's a stone quarry back that way. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Hey, everybody, so we are at our third camp spot. I'm gonna be here until tomorrow. Uh, supposed to rain and storm. This is my only like shelter which is a tarp. <laughs> I forgot my other tarp as well. So we're gonna hang out under this tarp and try to stay dry and safe from the potential hell according to the weather channel. This is probably not going to be out today on anything. I got one bar and I'm working on LTE. Data not even 3G, 4G. Pure, just LTE. So my internet's very slow out here. So I guess I'll see you all at the next spot. And yes, I'm recording this for YouTube. Uh, I should be posting this stuff more on like my Facebook too and Instagram, but I'm not. <sighs> and bike's battery is dead, and it's been dead. My solar generator is not yet charging as well as it should be, mainly because well. Even got stopping in shady areas to take breaks. <sighs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. What's up guys? So my uh laptop I don't know if it stopped working. But something's different about it. So I didn't even charge it at the hotel last night. By the way, got a hotel room. That was nice. Got a shower, was able to sleep without having to worry about being spotted. So, here's our walk around. We are about 15, maybe 20 pounds lighter. Battery just died, so. We, we got pretty far. 
And I say that now, but we're we're not even to the destination I need to get to. Ah. And, uh, that's where we're going. And I also don't know what happened to the other battery to that. Because I took everything out of there. So no bloody clue. Oh well. Oh no, I left my gummies at the Hunt Motel. Yeah. That sucks. So we know going that way leads to the dead end. So we have to go back the way we came, get the bike on charge. Do not recommend doing it. It should be said that there was a guy on a trike that came through and went on ahead of me and came back around back down that little path, gravel road. The Google sent me down, sent him down too, but he went ahead, found out that it was a dead end, came back, let me know. There we go. Yeah, this is where we currently are. And like I said, you don't want to really do this in bare feet. Unless you're used to it, because you don't know what's in these waters. There looks like a piece of scrap metal. I want to see if I get steep down there. And I was kind of raised on this shite, so I kind of understand how to step. Just need that area to sit down, just let it fucking crash over you. It's beautiful down here, though. This is what we come on these trips. Let's get a piece of nature like this, even though it's about ready to fucking come down and rain. Which, luckily, I thought I was missing a tarp. I am not, which means the only thing I forgot, Alex, was my shampoo and body wash. Don't get me wrong, get Ajax, which will do. It's just not great for your body and your skin. But what do I care? I think that water feels good on my feet, on my legs. Believe it or not, the rocks are kind of helpful. There's where, if it wasn't this move it faster moving water, you'd probably get some crawfish up underneath there, underneath that bank. And then you also have over here, which is a mighty, it looks like way deeper. Let's see, shall we? Thing I'm a short zone. Oh yeah, definitely deep around that side. Yeah, that's way deeper and way more uncomfortable for walking. Why is because there are so many big rocks underneath this? Oh, it feels so good. And it's not freezing cold water. It's actually quite a comfortable jump. <sighs> I 
Alright, I'll see y'all later. I've been off more than I can chew. There's only two people working at this little diner. Basically, it's a Mexican restaurant. They get father and son. Good to get done wrong. Damn good. No, no issue with food. There's only one other couple. some people back in the kitchen but I've only seen two people out working for and considering this is the one of two different restaurants in this area a lot of people are just going to more head is that food on my septum? food my mustache Made it to Cave Run. This is what's considered to be the dam. And if this ever floods, which let's hope not, most of this will be underwater. Because this lake gets deep. And that little boat ramp right there that's my favorite place to go on this lake but we're gonna be going all the way over there to the campground so we gotta go down that over and around get past kind of make it out that's boats it's a marina it's beautiful out here though even with that nasty looking cloud, there's still sun, baby. There is still sun. It's like right here. I can see it. It hurts my eyes. Camera don't pick it up though. Okay, for anybody that's not aware, see those buoys? Where they are, it's about 50, maybe 60 foot deep. But boats are not allowed to come in past that area. At speed, like you can probably troll through here, but you're you shouldn't be coming through there at all. And then you have these two little buoys right there. Those are about as far out as you really want to swim, but there's people in the lake over there just having a good old time. You got a person on the boat. Got this gentleman down here doing his fishing. Get our cars. This is the basically what runs the dam. And so, like, according to what I've always been taught in Round County, is it's man-made. Now, whether or not this lake is man-made, I do not know. Can't find anything about it. At all. That'd be so easy to get over. Alright. There's the spillway. Just so y'all know. Ugh. That shit is a moving. Like. Hi. Car. So this is a video I didn't want to make. But. 
lost my charger and my battery on this bike somewhere. And I'm not going to go look for it because it's either been run over or somebody's picked up, so there's no point. I didn't realize I'd lost it until I got to the campground at Cave Run. Sorry. Um, so, I'm waiting for a person to get back in touch with me and seeing if they can come pick me up. This is not the end of this bikepacking adventure. That I can promise. I also have found out that I have um, four different unclaimed money amounts. Uh, three of them from my mother. One of them is from me. And I probably should look up my pa's name too and see if he has any money, unclaimed money. So far I'm looking at probably around 2300 bucks. For every ten dollars, they take a dollar. So, one of them is two thousand four hundred and something dollars. So there's probably twenty, thirty bucks right there. Which is whatever. So, once I get that money, honey, I've been on Marketplace. I'm looking at scooters. Electric gas would be great good too. Wouldn't want to do gas though, but I'm learning with this. Gas might be the way to go. But there is a two thousand watt e bike. Kind of in like a chopper style fenders, everything I need. Um another thing is this is Bloody loose. That's not good. What was that? Cars? Yeah. Yeah. Cars. What are you gonna do? Um. And quite frankly, like, I know it's not the best view of the lake, but there is the lake. It's right there, right by me. If I really want to get down there, get in it. But I don't, so we shan't. We're just going to keep trugging along until we get down to where the dam was. And then um, once I get back to Lex, I'll switch out my SD card and my little camera that I lost both the batteries to. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. My ear Raycon keeps falling out of my dang ear. <sighs> but we did jump in the lake yesterday. And if I can get to where I want to wait, which is kind of like a, a cove. Then, uh, we will uh, jump back in the water and wait because that, that lake is this lake is beautiful like I know you can't see much behind me but yeah what's up Dodge and I will be editing all of my vid videos that I can get a lot of them are on my laptop, and I don't think my screen works anymore. So, fun times. It got wet one night. So it acts like it wants to turn on, but nothing on the screen. I am 29 years old. Fuck off. Just wanna wait here for a little bit. Kinda of cool off. Enjoy our view. 
I just cinched on. Knock out of my hair again. You can smell it. Can smell it. On the far side, I ran into an old friend at the campground coming out of it. He works for FedEx, so, and he's lost a lot of weight, so good on you. If you know, if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. Proud of you. But I've lost a lot of weight, too. I was 230 pounds. Now, well, screw you too, B. I'm, I'm nothing but a slim figure now, which is nice. More cars. By cars, I mean pickups. Two full size and one S10. Sounds like four banger. He's going for the pass. Two cars passing on a fucking turn. Stupid. And you're not in a that powerful vehicle. Like, come on now. But yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I see you. What's up, guys? So. We're still at the lake. Um, bunch of boats, kayaker out there. Uh, bunch of people coming and going and stuff. Um, uh, there is a sheriff deputy uh, patrolling around here. It's his job making sure because there's been apparently been a lot of break-ins, people's property and stuff. So it's like, all right, he's been. Just patrolling back and forth going all the way up that way that road there and like <sighs> but I am waiting on a friend in Luxon family I don't have friends uh, to figure out what the heck's going on with their car because they're locked out and it's either a battery alternator issue also um, The sheriff deputies offered to get out of one of his other people that's got a pickup, take me down to Owens Bowl. There's no hotels there, but there are gas stations um, that do take tap pay. So I gotta look at the map, see where I might be able to put, set up a campsite for a night or two. I am out of butane, so wherever I set up, I have to be able to start a fire. <sighs> I think I'm out of butane. I might have another can canister left. I'm not sure. I think it was the last one. I'll have to like dig through my trailer to find it, but um, until further notice, the bike trip is postponed. Simple reason of there's some issues I've got to deal with personally with uh, things that was left behind by my mom. Um, unclaimed money, basically. And I don't have a charger for my bike anymore. It fell out of my trailer somewhere. I don't know where. I've looked through a trailer many different times. Nope. So, no charger. And that means... My happy butt ain't pedaling a bike with over a hunt with a hundred pounds worth of gear in the trailer. Like no. Okay, so I'll see you all once I figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. Whether I'm gonna stay here at the lake and camp out, the sheriff don't mind, or I'm gonna get that ride. Bye.